Today is about the life path number 33 or the master number. They call it the master number because 11, 22, 33, those are the master numbers. And I am a life path 33 apparently by um, my birthday. So this video, I just want to share my experiences as a supposed life path 33 and um, give insight on things I've noticed about myself that might be relevant to you if you're watching this, if you're 33 and then you might see some uh, connections, correlations. So just want to give uh, awareness basically. So, um, the main things are like being a teacher, supposedly, <laughs> um, we're supposed to teach. That's our main mission to teach, to nurture, to heal. Those are like the top three that I've researched for this number. Um, I found in my experience, it's pretty easy and quick to learn things, obviously depending on what the subject is, but I have noticed uh, I do enjoy teaching people. Uh, obviously it takes work and energy to teach, but it's uh, fulfilling and rewarding. So um, maybe that's something that the fellow 33 people will uh, resonate with. Another big one is an empath, especially with um, feeling energy, being sensitive to energy, being emotional. I can trace back uh, my whole life being like this, you know, uh, being able to feel a room's energy really easily or uh, walk in and suddenly becomes quiet and still, which is always an awkward feeling, but it's, it happens a lot where you're just like, huh, maybe there's something to it, you know? But yeah, uh, being sensitive and emotional, those are huge, you know? Being able to uh, see through people, I don't know how it works, but you can read through to their soul with, you know, body language, with the way things come out when they speak, um, you, you have a good overall uh, perception of people uh, being this number. Another one is uh, very observant people. That's how we, a lot of uh, knowledge we gather is from just observing and being silent, you know, just observing the dynamic and energy again and um, yeah, uh, one thing I've noticed, I was always open-minded and going back to observer, uh, eager to learn, I've always want to learn more open-minded about different religions, different politics, different, uh, perspectives. You, you don't necessarily fall under one, um, tribe or group you're open to it all and you just want to be well-rounded with a multitude of opinions and perspectives that's how you shape your own from there uh for negative things one was one is being very self-critical hard on yourself i've heard that a lot uh one thing i've gathered is the 33s, they're very, um, what's the word? They're very, uh, perfectionists. And when you're not fulfilling to your standard, uh, you start being hard on yourself, being critical. You always want to do more, you know, you always feel like you can tweak this. I find this with my video editing that I'm involved in. I'll, I'll watch a video edit like 20, 30 times and and be like, damn, I wish I could correct this. Sometimes you just have to let it be because 
the way it's created in the first place is maybe the way it naturally should be. You know, that's where the critique comes in, very self-critical, where it's unnecessary to be self-critical at that point. And lastly, we're very loving and intense believers. That goes back to emotions, feeling intense emotions, being emotionally intense. And uh, intense believer is like, uh, with your faith and beliefs that you establish, you're very, um, very strong into them, you know? You, you want to believe, and you do believe. And anything that may be the opposition of that, uh, you don't want to go with it because you found that what you believe works out for you. But you do have to um, be open to the opposition because going back to open-minded, that, that's where uh, the conflict happens. You're a, a very strong believer in something, but also you're open-minded. So that clashes, you know, you have to be open-minded to other points that are outside of your beliefs. So maybe some of you guys can resonate with this stuff uh, for the Life Path 33. I'm learning more about it, and uh, it's checking out. It's making sense. So let me know what you guys think.